everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Tho Technical's uh, set of five using this very interesting team of Alolan Muck, Ludicolo, and Gyarados. Um, Ludicolo is running Bubble, Ice Beam, and Hydro Pump and he's going to be first matched up with uh, Registeel. Uh, Registeel generally has a favorable matchup against Alolan Muck, but Alolan Muck can definitely uh, stand its ground and be able to chunk away. And then he's going to catch this Flash Cannon uh, presumably uh, with Ludicolo. Ludicolo, you do have to max uh, a water grass type, so pretty interesting Pokemon. And gonna look to land this Ice Beam, which would deal super effective damage uh, to Origin Form Giratina. And uh, let's see, he's gonna try to bubble. Um, he's banking that this is a bait, and it is an ominous win. Also, I don't think they had enough energy for Shadow Ball, anyways. And going to look to land another Ice Beam, or land the Ice Beam, or grab the Shield. Grabs the second Shield, puts him in a very good position. Because unless this is carrying Ominous Wind and Dragon Pulse, then it's going to only be hitting for not very effective damage. So Lone Muck is going to be able to tank this Shadow Ball pretty well. And going to look to farm up a little bit. Oh, looks like they switched. Uh, yes, they did. Into Registeel. And they're gonna look like to farm up a little bit of energy and then switch out and catch i don't know idea how he was able to determine that was gonna be a flash cannon um very nice job and gonna look to dragon breath down oh it looks like a little bit lag it's fine gonna look to dragon breath down this registeel presumably let's see he might have to go for a crunch okay looks like he's gonna shield and then crunch this Origin Form Giratina for the easy win. Oh, oh, actually, no, he has another Pokemon in the back, too. Okay, interesting. Let's see how he's going to play this out. Oh, yeah, here comes Giratina. And this Giratina is going to take a lot of damage from this Crunch. And then going to switch out into Alolan Muck to catch this presumably ominous win. Yeah, and then let's see what's in the back. Oh, it's going to be... Meganium. Meganium is not going to appreciate these uh, sludge waves. Almost KOs. And then going to probably look to farm down after this and then land a Dark Pulse onto uh, Giratina. Or even just, um, to be honest, probably just safer to uh, hit the Dark Pulse because this uh, uh, Giratina has almost no health left. And going to be able to snarl it down almost. Comes Ominous Wind, actually doesn't KO. Man, Ominous Wind does almost no damage. And then Dragon Breath down, and Gyarados is able to win. So as you can see, these are against trainers with, with at almost 3,000 or above 3,000. Okay, so interesting matchup. So Gyarados can win this in the, the Zero Shield if it lands a Hydro Pump. These Dragon Breaths are, are chunking away on Alolan Muck. And... Let's see, ends up being a crunch, uh, and then can get switched out into Malmetal. This is okay. Uh, actually, he prefers it. To be honest, no. Oh, he's gonna go into Ludicolo. Interesting. Even though Ludicolo is taking, well, I guess it's neutral damage from uh, Thunder Shocks. Um, hmm. Interesting. And gonna look to land this Hydro Pump, which would KO the Malmetal. And it does. Oh, interesting. And then here comes Gyarados. Uh, Gyarados can be able to do neutral damage. Well, um, let's see if he decides to shield or not. It's going to be a crunch and not able to survive. Puts him in not a great position. He really needed that Ice Beam, to be honest. Um, and likely another crunch. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know if he's going to win this. Uh, another switch into... I don't know what it would switch into. Oh, Ferrothorn. Interesting. So Ferrothorn going to be able to resist these Dragon Breaths. Um, yeah, this is not a team he was necessarily designed to, build, uh, to beat. So he's definitely going to lose this match. I would imagine. Goes to Crunch, and this thing is just going to be way too spammy. 
Yeah, it's gonna do, yeah, way, way too much spam. Um, probably, let's see. Well, actually, no, it's able to hit the crunch. Is that gonna KO? Does he win this match? Oh, maybe he actually does win this match. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, probably not. This is a very valiant attempt to try to switch and sack, but I think he's gonna get Dragon Breath down regardless. Yeah, GG. Uh, he really needed that Ice Beam on Ludicolo, or else uh, he would have definitely would have been able to win. He also told me that Ludicolo is the best Pokemon, so it's good to know. And I'm going to go Alolan Muck again. Let's see if he does the same thing. going to try to catch this Charge move onto Ludicolo. And this might be a Focus Blast. No, just a flash can. Okay, yeah, clearly he knows more than me. Uh, oh, gonna go into Togekiss. Even though this has bubble, must have thought it had Razor Leaf. And then that would resist it. Uh, but it's gonna be able to get these Ice Beams in and uh, get there pretty quick, but maybe not quick enough. Nope, not able to get it off. And then gonna go into Alolan Muck. Now he needs to be able to... <clears throat> Zanger Power's not gonna do that much. But he needs to be able to uh, land this sludge wave, whether it's uh, the bait or directly to it. He is able to take it out. And then here comes Swampert. And, oh, interesting. And <clears throat> this would probably do the most damage, to be honest, um, out of any of the existing charge moves. Let's see, he's going to go straight for the Hydro Bomb. Gonna look to KO this Registeel. Let's see if it decides to shield. Oh man, it decided to shield. That's huge. That is huge. Gonna shield this Flash Cannon. And then gonna look to land this Crunch. I don't know if this Crunch is gonna be enough to KO. Probably not. But gonna leave it pretty low. And then here comes Swampert. Um, gonna be able to tank, uh, Gleese one more. Uh, I'm not sure two. Be pretty close. Probably two. No, just, uh, one more. He really needs his crunch and is just barely able to beat this, uh, um, Swamper to the charge move. And it's likely a CMP tie. Oh, no. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> okay. All right. GG. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be covering his opponent's uh, run to rank 10 uh, pretty shortly. Uh, going to lead Alolan Muck into uh, Lapras. This is a pretty neutral, even-ish matchup. I um, actually don't know who necessarily comes out on top. Let's see. Lapras, Muck. And it looks like it's going to be Lapras. Oh, going to switch out. Okay, they switched out. Oh, he switched out of, the, of that matchup um, with uh, with Lapras and then the counter, uh, well, switched into Ludicolo to catch the charge move, I'm presuming, and then um, counter switched to Charger, thinking he has a Razor Leaf, but actually has Bubble, and it's going to be able to bubble down this um, Charizard, and then he's probably going to come back in with Lapras, uh, realizing that... Uh... Oh, no, Shift Tree. Oh, probably was worried about... The potential energy ball. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Um, draws a shield onto this uh, shift tree. Shift tree is going to land the leaf blade, which is going to be neutral. Uh, going to go back into the lone muck. Um, another a resisted leaf blade, and then looks like he switched. Into the Lapras. Yeah, Lapras taking a ton of damage. Gonna switch out, uh, realizing Gyarados is such a bad matchup against Shift Tree. And then this uh, Lapras is almost almost done and was able to catch the Surf, uh, which Gyarados does resist. And gonna be able to take neutral damage from this Leap Blade, but it's gonna do a lot of damage um, as expected. And then gonna look to land this Crunch. Let's see if the Shift Tree decides to shield. 
If it does, probably didn't have much of a choice or else it would probably get Dragon Breath down and then going to, uh, yeah, this match is over. Gonna go into Alolan Muck, shield once, and then build a Sludge Wave or just go straight for the Sludge Wave. And able to KO. All right, we're gonna go to the fifth and final match. Um, okay, very favorable lead. Let's see if uh, decides to switch out to Snorlax. And then go look to land a Sludge Wave, which is gonna do a lot of damage to the Snorlax if it goes unshielded. Uh, go shielded, interesting. Gonna switch out into Ludicolo. And here goes the Body Slam. Another body slam. Let's see if he's gonna go for the hydro pump. Gonna go for the nuke. Um, let's see how the Snorlax decides to play this out. It's uh, pretty close to oh the shields. Okay, interesting. Really wants to keep this uh, Snorlax alive and gonna look to land this ice beam. It's not gonna do a ton of damage to Snorlax, but enough to uh, and then actually wins the CMP die, which is actually the most favorable situation. And we go into uh, Snorlax, okay. Interesting. Gonna shield uh, what's likely a body slam. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, this is gonna be an earthquake. Nope, body slam. Oh man, he is farming aggressively. Uh, this is gonna be another body slam gonna put this uh, alone muck super low and ends up being swampered and gonna land back-to-back -back, uh, dark pulses because he did farm the, the Snorlax which had a lot of lot and then gonna look to Dragon Breath down this uh, swampered and this uh, Gyarados has Dragon Breath and Crunch, which is going to deal a lot of damage to Giratina. Hmm, I wonder what this Giratina is doing. Here comes Dragon Claw. Gonna have to shield the second one. And then probably doesn't have too much time to waste because this uh, Giratina generated a lot of energy. So going to fire off the Crunch right away. No, no gambling with it. Uh, mostly because the Swampert is pretty low. Probably has energy. Nope. Uh, gets taken out. So really fun team. Uh, Ludicolo was pretty interesting. He definitely was pretty creative on, on how he used it. So anyways, uh, if you want to see more video content like this, let me know down in, down in the comment section below. And if you want to follow Tho Technical on Twitter, I'm going to include a, a link to his Twitter handle. And uh, thank you for sending me these battles. And thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see everyone in the next video.